Hey everyone, so here is part 14 of Pokemon Rejuvenation. In the last episode, we followed Gear all the way to Wispy Tower and then besides him with a Giratina that um, he knew that was under the tower and stuff like that. Apparently Gira and Narcissa had some history before, but it's still not clear. Well, actually it is kind of clear just, you know, how the two of them know each other. It's like she didn't really remember until right then and there. Um, but if, if from the, according to the journal entries we found all over Wispy Tower, Gira seems to be an assistant used to be an assistant to Narcissa's uh, now deceased husband Sirius who wanted to use Garatina to like try to create a new world you know like Cyrus from Gen 4 um, so yeah in this episode we are going to be challenging um, Narcissa's gym which also doubles as a theater um, so a little rundown of the team now um, I'm, I'm thinking of maybe including Lucius. Um, I guess I'm starting to like not care about the whole when will it learn a psychic type when it evolves into an Espeon sort of thing. Because I, I would need to build friendship first and going to the massage place and spend $1,500 is not ideal. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to bring Lucius with me and walk around. Also, I don't think you get a Sooth Bell until you get like 35, um, 35 uh, Zygar cards, which you're not going to get until <laughs> uh, 6 badges in, 7 badges in, yeah, 8 badges in. Yeah, probably before 8 badges in, so yeah, don't even expect that. Let's continue on. Ah, oh, Meridia, there you are. It seems like the show's about to start. But there's still time before your part comes in, you know? No, no, no. There's still so much to do. Before... Narcissa! Oh dear. This is a plot twist. <gasps> it's Ren! Meridia. So you got through the barrier. Oh? Now this is ironic. You're the one who put up that old thing? Isn't that exactly what we used to do, Ren? Something you detested so much? This time it was different. I had to buy time so that I could become stronger. To defeat me in battle? Still? That is your dream? After all this time, you've worked so hard to do the same thing we did in the past. It wasn't like that. I said it was just to buy time. You can call it whatever you want, but I've seen through your actions. Fine, if you want to battle me so badly, then I'll give you an opportunity. You will? Currently, all the tickets to my show are sold out. However, there is one ticket I kept secret. One ticket that will allow you to see the show up close. I'm confused. You and Meridia will compete for this ticket. Where is it? Where is the ticket? It is located somewhere within this theater. Ren, you will enter from the right wing. Meridia, you will enter from the left. First person to clear the, black, the back rooms of this theater will receive their ticket. I understand. So it's a race. A race to see who will change this town for the better. I told you, Meridia. I told you that I was determined to change this town myself. I won't let anyone get in the way of that dream. So if you truly want to battle Narcissa, then you better beat me to the end. I'm sorry for changing the plan out of nowhere, but I think this is necessary. I said I was going to convert my entire town in the direction of peace and love. This includes Ren as well. He's just as bad, even if he doesn't know it. So I want you to defeat him in this race. And not out of spite, I want you to show him that what he's doing is wrong. His intentions are genuine, but the execution is severely lacking. You must break someone down before you can rebuild them into a better entity. Remember that, Meridia. Oh, you know what she said? I feel like it might actually be important to us later on in the story. But anyways, let's go through the gyms. So yeah, the gym has like a sort of puzzle um, that is probably not immediately apparent, so I guess I'm just going to explain it anyway. Things keep moving no matter what I do. What am I supposed to do here? This is ridiculous. Every time I move somewhere, the torches are different. Should I pay attention to which ones are and aren't lit? Oh, okay, so that girl basically 
Uh, describe the whole gimmick of this um, puzzle. What a beautiful day today is. The trees are blooming, the Pokemon are happy, and the people are satisfied. How could one not appreciate today for what it is? Golden Leaf Town is a new age of prosperity, a new age of love, peace, and hope for the pe oh, hope for the future. And on this lovely stroll, I, Narcissa. Ah yes, hello, darling. Are you here to cherish this beautiful day with me? Oh, I really would adore that, but unfortunately, I cannot afford that. You see, yes. What holds your tongue? Could you perhaps have a message from the birds that sung? Indeed, they have given me a message. A warning, that is. A warning? On this pleasant morning? Where everything is beautiful and perfect? Yes, ma'am. They say to look out for Wispy Tower. Wispy Tower? What could possibly be wrong at Wispy Tower? Surely they must have mistaken. Something evil may have awakened. What on earth was that quake? Who knows, but the very presence of it makes me shake. Could it be? Off in the distance? Smoke? It seems your streak of peaceful beginnings have broke. In the distance I see Wispy Tower burning to the scene. Hurry we must, for we must end this scheme. So yeah, basically you have to um, follow wherever the torches are lit. Me, curse you, or mimic you. You have to read this. One path leads to many doors. Many doors lead to only one exit. Alright, and now the torch is lit here. Um, this is a trainer. So, okay, I'll just put in Sissel and switch out. Ooh, Driftloom. And also, the haunted field is up. Uh, Boosting it, the thing with the haunted field that that irks me is that okay yeah it boosts ghost type moves all right whatever it also weakens dark type moves which makes zero sense like I feel like there's nothing I feel like there's no reason for dark type moves to be weakened so it all all so basically this is just a field to like help ghost and screw everything else without any rhyme or reason um yeah this is like yeah i think um when i um was explaining the holy field from when we fought uh revenant keta before i think i i mentioned that there was like another field that was just as booty or no even the even the, when i was fighting uh, what's her name them that there was like uh, another field that's like extremely booty it's like why is this a thing? Yeah, <laughs> this is the field. This is the other field I was talking about. Um, another thing to know about this field is that Ghost, Ghost, um, and also Dark, which I'm like, whatever, can hit normal type Pokemon for super effective damage. Which is why, I, I, to amend certain things. Oh, that's another glitch! I don't think anyone was gonna watch this video, but for some reason that particular drift loom is weak against fire, and I don't think it's flare boost because flare boost doesn't do that. Like it's not like solar power, so it's like okay, why is that a thing? Um, so yeah. Um, what else to know about this field? I think nightmare hits. That nightmare, bad dreams. Um, I think there is a bad dreams effect inflicted on you because of the field. Um, if your Pokemon happens to fall asleep. Uh, Wait, why am I switching in and out? I forgot I have my <laughs> I have my experience here on. I shouldn't have any problems. Um, but yeah, like this field is overall very annoying. So it's like it's just basically an endurance match whenever you're, deal you're dealing with this field. So I mean, yeah, just you know, <laughs> that's all I can say. Just trying to focus on the battle. For that. Why is that super effective? Is it? I wonder if this is the field too. Um. I read that the field 
Um, Will O Wisp hits for 100%. I wonder if this adds. I wonder if Fire Type moves as. Um, if the field adds ghost typing to all fire type moves or something. Because I don't think I read that. I don't think I read that in the in the field guide. So it's very... Please don't kill Sissel! Please! It'll probably kill me. <sighs> no! Wait, but Sissel did level up, right? Yeah, so, I mean, I'll evolve. Rock Tomb. Hopefully I can learn Rock Slide before I get to Narcissa. Ho oh, ho ho ho! And since I have a male Esper, I'm going to have the male Meowstic, which is more defensive. Um, in case, you know, you don't know the gimmick with Meowstic, um, female, ma female Meowstic has um, is more offensive compared to the more defensive male Meowstic. Um, in ability, male Meowstic has Prankster while the female one has Competitive. But I have tried... Uh, comp um, oh man, I can't go back. Well, I can, but I just need to go through all this. Oh, the horror. How could this be? Wizzy Tower burning to its knees? Who could have done such a thing? What could what could something so evil even bring? My husband. My darling husband is trapped behind the beams. Could that cry be his everlasting screams? What am, what am I to do without my darling husband? We must find the one behind this. But who? Who would do such a thing? The pride of this town lies within Wizzy Tower. Our life ambition. And now we... Now here we lie in complete sub submission. But afar, I see a figure in the in, a, in the cloak. Who are you? Can you be the one behind all this? Or has my judgment finally come and become a myth? Ah, but this is a clear face that is not quite clear. Oh, this is a face that's not quite clear. Yes, she gives off an aura that instills fear. Wispy Tower is no more. Those who live here will no longer live with the beacon they so lovingly place. And say they shall endure pain that no other person has faced. But why, I implore you. No reason you need, for that will bore you. In fact, the most I will do is ignore you. I shall depart with my task successful, and leave a woman who is no longer forgetful. Remember me, the one who destroyed you. Let all of your rushing emotions continue to void through. For this isn't the end, but merely the beginning. For I will be the last one who is grinning. Goodbye, Narcissa. We welcome outsiders with a loving gesture. Then they hide their evil intentions with a kind small vesture. But no longer, this shall be the last time. For we shall purify our, our town of their grime and enact an ordinance of isolation. One that will ward away any outsider who dares enter our town forever. Hmm. So another thing I should probably note is that anytime you're you're leaving to like go and heal and stuff like that, oh wild Pokemon. Also, there's wild Pokemon here. So if there's any ghost types that you like that you want to use to take advantage of the field, you can do that. But yeah, every time you leave to go heal or something, you're gonna have to go through the puzzle all over again, um, which is not too problematic, because um, the puzzle itself is not. It's not long at all. Do I have any repels? Maybe I, I should put some repels. 
Um, but yeah, the puzzle is not really long at all. So going through it and knowing what to do, it's it's really a breeze. And find a passageway. And the repel is not good enough. I'll haunt your soul. Okay, just a day next. I think it might kill me though, but. Why did that do nothing? <laughs> so bad. Uh, I need to switch. I've never used Trump Card before. Uh, should I? Yeah, let's replace it. <laughs> Hopefully, they'll not hurt me in the end. I think there should be one more trainer, so hopefully it won't be too much trouble. Alright, so we're gonna go back down here. Oh, you had to go this far? Let's bring you back to where you belong. <laughs> Alright. Don't mistake in that. That's not a mistake. It's, um, you're supposed to go through that. Alright, so here. How long has it been since that day? The day that changed everything. I almost forgot myself. It was so long ago. Will you come back to dry my tears after a long night's grief? Will you tell me I'll be okay for hours or will we be brief? None can say an ordinance of mistakes. That's all I enacted, nothing more, nothing less. Narcissa, there's someone at the door. What is it? A visitor, you say? Bring them in. I'll deal with them accordingly. Ooh, Alita. What have you come to bore with me today, outsider? I have come to stop you from acting this way. And why should I listen to the likes of you? Perhaps you believe your values have the weight of two? Nothing you say shall change my way, no matter what you say. 
But why? Do you think you have the right to harm others as you see fit? Don't you think that's extreme? Not even a little bit? Hehe. <laughs> extreme as it may be, it's necessary for survival. There's nothing survival about it. I won't leave until you change your mind. Is that how it is then? If you want to change my mind, then fight for it. The final battle between Golden Leaf Town and the world. We'll see who is victorious. We shall see who is in the right. Only then will we put this problem to rest, a sample of your strength to the task. But who will be your warrior, the one you hold so high? The one to make sure this way of thinking shall die. Oh, I have a warrior, a warrior that will win. A warrior who will bash you down that it will make shivers flow through your skin. Just wait, for they almost arrive. The one that will surely thrive. Oh my gosh, it's almost our cue. Means that we're almost done with the puzzle. Alright, through here. No, it doesn't matter. Go to the mirror. And here we are. Um, this is like a one use thing. Let's put Sissel back. Oh, if only you have rock, rock Glide. Um, I might hold on to you actually. Uh, let me put you and you in to sort of like low key heal you up. Actually, you, you could probably use some healing too. I know what's gonna come up. That's, that's what I'm preparing for. Um,. The field. The field is really getting me angry. Um, let me see. What do I have? Well, let me bring you back. Uh, let's have you. You don't have a fairy type move yet, but oh well. You have intimidate. I'll bring you to trying to really remember something. And we're gonna put Katori out first. Also, yeah, let me give you the Hearthstone because you're kind of sucking right now. I don't have the Hearthstone. No, that's what I usually give you. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh. Uh. Fine. Actually, no, that won't matter, especially for this upcoming debacle. Uh. Okay. <laughs> oh look, it's Ren. <laughs> Ugh, you're so persistent. What is your deal anyway? Why can't you let me battle her first? I've trained hard for this day, and you're going to ruin that all train or ruin all that training with just one battle. Listen, I appreciate you as a friend, but this is where I draw the line. Only one of us can get to Narcissa, and that one is going to be, be me, whether you like it or not. So yeah, we have to fight Ren. <laughs> of course it was gonna be a tie. Like it would never be any other way. Okay, I'm probably just gonna cut off the previous battle because that the only thing I say why took too long and I died for no reason. So yeah. Well and since I'm gonna be cutting out the previous battle, I might as well try to re-explain certain things. Um yeah, the Sable Eye, most most annoying part of this entire team. Once you get rid of the Sable Eye, it should be it should be smooth sailing from there, except when I died. Because Roxon decided to be unreliable. Um, but yeah, but considering Sableye's typing, it's not. Um, it only has weakness to fairy, which makes this very annoying. Because I don't have any fairy type moves, despite having a fairy type Pokemon. Nightshade does more damage in this field because, of course, Jan. Um, okay, I should. Um, I should survive the next, the next move. Uh, 
Sibla has Prankster, which means it can heal whenever it wants. Uh, should I risk? I don't want to. I really don't. <laughs> Okay, dealt with that stable light at least seven times faster than I did before. For Brava, all right. Does Icy win the thing? Cause I can take whatever moves it has. Earthquake won't help you. That did more damage than it did before. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to heal. Arcanine switched to Kali so I can intimidate it because and it also has justified. Oh, I'm supposed to be speeding up this battle. Alright, yeah, let me heal. Actually, no, 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 no. Let me attack and then um, second thing because I'm not. I don't want accuracy to be the reason why I'm losing a gun. <laughs> I survived that one. Let me let me use that again. Uh, let's heal Ellie. I should also heal Brig um, because of the the haunch on the back. For some reason, his cat turn was the one that killed me because it used secret power, and secret power has a chance to curse you. <laughs> that never happened to me before at all. So it's like, and I was already down to like below one quarter health. Because that's the max damage it does. Um, curse. So, yeah. My Pokemon died. My most important Pokemon died. And, yeah. But I saved my bug Pokemon this time. And I'm going to sell Stinger it. Oh, jeez. Oh, wait. Okay, no. Let me. I, I shouldn't mind that much. I don't know why, I see that and I thought King Shield and I was like, don't lower my attack. And I was like, no, it should only hurt me. So. Attack drastically, drastically increase. I feel like staying in because I- Oh, oh yeah, how could I forget about Frogadier? So you don't have your Haunch Crow yet. So I can't, I can stay in. I'm warning you, stay out of this. Get out of here. Oh shoot. I was thinking of using String Shock, but then I was like, oh, that's not the Haunt Crow. But I still probably should use String Shock. But. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I got a crit, just in case. Finally, cut, seriously cutting out that previous, that previous run. Like, get out of here. You can't be serious. I've lost? Yeah, run. Yo, this battle took less time than it took for me to defeat that Sableye the first time. <laughs> Can't believe it. After everything, after my ambition to become better and fix this town, all those years spent becoming stronger were for nothing? Well, I mean, I feel like that's what every evil team feels. Like, especially Giovanni. Like, they planned this out only to, only to be defeated by a kid. So, I mean, yeah. I've seen, I've seen what you've done to this, done for this town, Meridia. The moment I walked through the gate and into this town, I noticed something significantly, significantly different. Really? Like, I mean, all we did was beat up the same three people like three times. I don't think that would really change the mood of anything. But okay. Now everything's fixed, but I can feel the will to change. That's something I've never been able to accomplish myself. So please, will you let me battle Narcissa first? I mean, he did work hard. And, you know, I know it's like, you know, against our plan. But, you know, 
he could win and then like he could fall and then I'd be like the real hero so fine you could go first there's no way you actually meant that okay you know what <laughs> I gave you okay if you saw Shofu's like playthrough of this <laughs> he also let him go first and <laughs> but honestly I have the same sentiment like we give you a chance I know this is pre-programmed and honestly, maybe the plan won't work unless we defeat Narcissa, like, first t first try. Because, you know, if Ren was, like, to mess with that, then it might ruin everything, so. But still, like, I give you a chance, my dude. What, you think I'm some kind of joke? Get real. I couldn't defeat you. What makes you think I stand a chance against Narcissa? It's all hopeless. A futile attempt. So you go, Meridia. You do what you do best. Is try and defeat Narcissa. Let's see how far you get. I won't be watching. Really? Because, <laughs> you know, after the battle, you do see that, you know, he was in the audience. Or I think he was? But he did watch the whole thing. I think. I don't know. Okay, so now officially we are fighting Narcissa. So, I guess I'm going to, like, pause a little, try to get my team together, and see if I can try to beat Narcissa my first try. Jan, help me! Meridia, I see that you're at the Golden Leaf Theater. Narcissa's finally doing her job then? Anyway, business, yes. What would you like to know? Narcissa's ace and signature move. Narcissa's ace is her dust claps. Unlike in previous versions where it's going to be her chandelure. A strange ace, but an effective one nonetheless. Dust claps holds an eviolite. It's gonna take a lot of willing down to send that ghost to the afterlife for good. Narcissa's signature move is called Spectral Scream. As a 25% chance of raising its defense, she's all about that bulk. Alright. More info? Haunted Field. Narcissa battles on the Haunted Field. Like the field may suggest, this field is beneficial mostly to ghost type Pokemon. Ghost type moves are boosted in power by 1.3. Dark and Fairy type moves are. Point zero point seven times in power, not comma. Also, keep this in mind. This might this might benefit you in some way. It will benefit me. Most notably, Nightshade does point one point five times more damage, so be wary of that. Yeah. Okay, so it's like his level plus half more of its level. Okay, so that's what I thought. Oh wait, more suggestions. Instead of being hyper offensive. Narcissa focuses on bulk and status affliction. With a combination of sleep, burn, and nightshade, you will be stalled and whittled down each turn. Make sure you have the stuff to deal with these statuses. That's not a good that's not good advice. Alright, so I'll just cut to getting to Narcissa. Okay, so we're back. And here is the team that I have for this upcoming battle. I have Dashiana with the Rock Gem, Brig with Electric Gem, although this is the first time I'm making him use it, so I mean, I don't know. I don't know how helpful that would be. And Kali with Twisted Spoon, although he's mainly here just to intimidate anything that needs to be intimidated. <sighs> Alright, let's go. Turn to the mirror. Golden Leaf Auditorium. You know, there is something very funny about change. It's something we all want but fear. Why is that, I wonder? Is it because we fear what might no longer be the case? Do we fear the consequences it may have on us personally? Or maybe how our family and friends will be affected? But no matter how much we fear it, we cannot run away. In fact, we must embrace it because that's when we will truly be free. Ooh, that's a new look. Thank you, thank you. I believe it's time for our warrior to appear now, hmm? Reveal yourself, oh brave warrior. Show me your power. Show me your, your determination for change. Please step forward once you're ready. The crowd is waiting. <gasps> you can get off. Uh -oh. Gonna get destroyed. <laughs> get out of here. No, I'm not. There's some items here too. I only came to this show because I heard they had popcorn. They don't actually have any popcorn. This is the first time I've seen Narcissa battle. Max potion. 
What's the point of all this anyway? Heart potion. Yo, this guy's sleeping. I wonder why Narcissa wanted to act in a play after all this time. I don't think I've ever seen her do this myself. There's no way you'll win. Have you seen Narcissa when she got full power? Yeah. That's Soraya. There's no way you'll defeat Narcissa. She's one of our strong she's one of the strongest trainers I know. This play has been really good so far. Now we, we're about to see the final act. Our Narcissa uses a mimic cue. Those things can be extremely powerful if left unchecked. Well, thanks for the uh, thanks for the random hint. Actually, that's pretty good. If you never fire her, then well, I'm already telling you. Have I told you that she has a mimic cue? Well, she has. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you everything she has. Knock him dead, Maria. I believe in you. Like I said, I'm not sure if I said this. I don't know. But she starts out with Drift Blim with Flare Boost. Which is why I have Dashiana out. So with a Rock Gem powered Rock Slide. This is why I got her up to 35. Um, I think right after that may be the Mimikyu. But let's see. The show's not over, is it? This is the final standoff between Golden Leaf Town, Town and the world. Show, show Golden Leaf Town what you're capable of. Ah, okay. <laughs> Feel this haunted. You also see the trees in the background, right? I think this stage, I think this field might also double as a forest field, but I don't know. Oh, she does have thing activated. She... I don't think she will be able to knock me out. Oh! That will... Oh, no it doesn't! <laughs> Yay! Okay. But wait, actually, now that I think of it, I think I would actually use Rock Tomb instead to lower its speed so that next turn I will be able to hit it again for first. Yeah. Ah, Mimikyu. Oddly enough, this is where the field starts helping you. And well, if you also happen to have an Altaria, I'm not sure how well it still will help, but I'm just going to use Cotton Guard. The thing is. This field weakens fairy type moves. So even if you have a dragon type like Carol, like you you will survive. And now that I'm like boosting up my defense, like she is, she doesn't want to use she won't want to use play rough anymore. She'll actually get smart and not use it anymore. But then you're wondering, wait, but I'm still a dragon type. I only have dragon breath. So how am I supposed to attack it? Well, if Dragon Breath is your only other attacking move, then you probably raised your Pokemon wrong. There's a reason why I kept Mirror Move. Actually, that wasn't a reason. I completely... I just decided not to get rid of it, but... Like, the first time I actually used this strategy against her, I completely forgot I had Mirror Move. Um... So... But the great thing is, is that... Let's see... Oh, she's still using home claws. Whatever. Um, so if she does try to attack me, I can actually attack her back. Especially if she's using... Um, ooh, oh yes, also the disguise. I forgot about the disguise. Um, yeah, get rid of that. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. I don't think, yeah, play rough is not gonna do much, but I also think it. Ha I think it only has like ten power points, so it'll it, it won't be long before she runs out of power points, and you can strike her back. But the best thing is, is if she uses her ghost type moves because not only uh, is it is ghost super effective against ghost. But you can actually use it against her. It won't. It will be boosted by the field. I guess that's why she's avoiding <laughs> using it. But that won't help her for long. I would say Mimikyu is is her most problematic Pokemon. 
Ooh, that lowers my attack. Oh, jeez. Whatever. Um, I would say her next problematic Pokemon will be her Chandelure. Just because it's a Chandelure. <laughs> um, Chandelure being gra um, Ghost Fire. And it can... I think it has Energy Ball. So, you know, if you try to use... If you're trying to use a Water type against her, you know, it'll still be dangerous. But I actually have a workaround for that. Let's just try to get rid of this mini too. And I don't I honestly don't really care if I run out of power points. Um because I have I actually have several ways to replenish it, so. Come on, you were cooperative the last time I fought you. <laughs> Ooh, Shadow Claw. That might be a little dangerous because Shadow Claw does have a high critical ratio. So even if, you know, you did boost up to like... Uh, even if you boost up to like 6 stages of Cotton Guard, it'll just break through all of that and probably insta-kill you. I know you're running out of play buffs. Uh, that's so close. I don't care, I'm selling you out. Actually, using cold claws is, is actually making me nervous. Cause it makes me wonder if I could. Okay, please don't crit me. I should get her. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. All right. Cause I'm wondering, like, even if. She manages to kill Carol. I think I could I could aqua jet her, provided she doesn't heal herself. Um, let's see. She has Shand. Okay, so she's saying Chandelure. So it's going the same way as I, as it was when I fought her last time. Chandelure has special scream. Um, normally I would actually probably keep Carol in, but unlike last time, this time I do have uh, Hound Doom. To lower her special attack. Because she would. She. Oh, that actually did a lot. She would. She's gonna spam special screen. That's the only thing she's gonna do. And she's definitely gonna do that for Melusine because she probably is thinking that I do. I have flash fire, which I, which I do. Which I do. <laughs> and even if she has energy ball, she can't do anything to me. I outspeed her. So, you know, this is, this is perfect actually. I'm guessing her next Pokemon is Golurk. Oh yeah, the Rotom! It's not Golurk. Okay, that's what I'm missing. Free. Um. I think I could stay in and just heal. Uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I think I probably should have switched out. Especially considering that there's not a Golurk. Um, what am I doing? I should have probably switched out to Kali and heal Melusine. Let me. Let's see what happens. She gonna use on the bolt. Oh, di oh yeah, discharge. discharge. Okay, so yeah, she's gonna use discharge because it can paralyze you easily, and then use hex. Don't let her paralyze you, <laughs> basically. But as long as I have Snarl, I should be good. Since it lowers special attack. I'm still surprised how much it does. Despite being weakened in this field. So yeah. Uh, if you were hesitant of getting a Hound Hour or whatever. Uh, well I don't want to say. Oh get one now. Because you know. This is way past the time to actually get it. But if you haven't started that side quest with Karina. 
Yeah, you can, you can do that. So let's snarl again. Hyper Potion. Doesn't matter, you're wasting your resources on this little thing. I should also probably mention this, especially since Narcissa is using it now. Uh, all the Rotom forms, any gym leader that has a type of a Rotom form, they will definitely use it. So if you if you come across a fire type gym leader, yeah, they're going to use Rotom P. If you come across a water type gym leader, they're going to use um, Wash, Rotom Wash, and so on and so forth. Like that is not in that is indisputable. They will use it. <laughs> That's what has been in my experience. Spirit Tomb. Spirit Tomb is actually from this right, at this point of the battle. This is really easy. Her Spirit Tomb will just try to put you to sleep and then use Dream Meter slash Nightmare slash having the um, the field try to will down your health. But it's like, what, what are you gonna do to me? Like, there's nothing you can do to me. Especially considering that her ace this time is Dust, Dust Clops. Like, it's basically a defensive Pokemon. It's not really going to do anything to you. So, it's, it's going to get a little stally from here on out. But, there's nothing really to worry about. Like, you're not going to get overpowered in any way. So, yeah. Um... I could just switch up. Yeah, let me, let me do that. I don't have an awakening, but I have a cookie. Spectral Scream. That did a, that was a crit, so. I'm just trying to think of like a fast way to go through with this without accidentally <laughs> weakening myself and then all of a sudden I wind up with one Pokemon. <laughs> Hypnosis. I I don't know if hypnosis accuracy gets boosted in this field. Um, even if it does, it's not at a hundred percent. It's not unavoidable. So, oh, <laughs> it's like we both got strategies, and like we're like, I know she's gonna do something, so I might as well switch out. Why? <laughs> 10% chance of missing. Oh, jeez. Like, even though they may not be offensively helpful, even though, you know, Melusine kind of proved that wrong, <laughs> um, having some dark types on your team will be good if... Even if they can't deal out damage, at least they'll be able to soak up damage. Jesus Christ. What's half of 35? Um... You know, I don't care. I think, I don't want to say, let's sack Melusine, but I'm like... Continually switching out is not going to help me. But that's not gonna, that's not, I hope she's not gonna think that somehow her taking down Melusine is gonna save her. <laughs> Let me see how much this does. Okay, that did nothing. Willis. And she can use Spectral Scream on me again. Actually, yeah, let's, let's heal Kovo. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's gonna be super effective because of the field. So I'm just taking this time to like heal everyone. It's like it's really hard to like sort of know how to tackle this next portion of the this this final portion of the battle because you're facing against two defensive Pokemon. For Ace having an Eviolite and you know Spiritomb having no weaknesses except for Fairy. Again, a type I don't have. Um, um offensive wise. Um That was what I originally wanted to do with Ray. Okay, this is starting to feel like Ren Sableye all over again. special person. That was the crit. Alright. It's kind of times like this, I wish I, st I, I did have Sparkling Aria. What's half of 35? 35, 34, 17. 17 plus 35 is like 52. So I should survive this. Um... Not only will I survive Nightshade. Oh, that's too risky though. Because I was thinking like, even if I survive Nightshade, I can still... I will have Torrent. I, I will be able to Torrent, but... Uh... I think I'm just going to revive Melusine. Then. Or not even that, like probably I could just I could just straight up attack. Yeah, straight up attack right now. Oh yeah, and the electric gem. <laughs> they kinda counter the boosted defenses. Yeah. So I guess we're good. My life for the theater ends at no point, even when the curtain falls for the final time. Yeah, so we good. <laughs> Kara, yay! I was kind of expecting that.
Ah, finally. Please. You have shown yourself to be a worthy opponent and friend. And thus, it all comes to an end. Gunleaf Town has fallen, and the world of peace, love, and happiness has won. The world has missed us. This ordinance of isolation is over. We will now welcome any outsider as if they are one of us. Let us... Narcissa! What is this nonsense? How can you lose to this... This... Outsider? I suppose I wasn't strong enough. We weren't strong enough. So what? We're just going to treat these outsiders with, with respect now? After everything? Did you forget what they did to us? What they did to us? What are you talking about us? You weren't even born when the tragedy happened. Nothing ever happened to you. You were just born into someone else's sorrow. And then you use it as an excuse to be a hateful, xenophobic, miserable girl. What? No, that's not... That's not what I meant. I want to avenge my fallen brethren. Then avenge them in a more positive way. The past is the past. It cannot be changed no matter how much you cry, grieve, or scream. Instead of living it, let's build a future that our loved ones will be proud of. I cannot believe what I'm hearing. Then you don't have to believe it. No one's telling you to stay here. You can leave whenever you want. Who the hell are you? Who the hell do you think you are? You aren't even part of this place and you're telling me to leave? But where would you go? No matter where you end up, you'd be outsiders. Would they greet you with love and compassion? Certainly not, because you didn't give them the treatment they deserved when they visited us. Ah, uh, fine. But I'm not going to like it. And you don't have to. But this is just what's going to happen from now on. And I'm aware that change won't happen immediately. It takes time for it to blossom. But I'll be here until we bloom into a beautiful flower in the sun. For peace, love, and happiness. That was an absolutely beautiful performance, Narcissa. Thank you, darling. It's been quite a while since I've done something like that. If I'm honest, I was extremely nervous, but somehow I was able to pull through. And it's thanks to you two. <laughs> thanks. That's my first time doing something like that. And you've done a marvelous job. I'm quite impressed. Ah, uh, but that aside, I think it's time for me to show you your way out of this town, hmm? Route 4 is where you all wanted to go, correct? That's right. We need to get to Akua Town in order to fix Moridia's stack snack machine. It's our greatest asset in defeating Team Zen. I understand. Meet me in front of the Garatina statue outside. Things will become clearer then. Oh, but before I do, I believe Moridia deserves this. We got the Phantasm Badge. And we also get a Shadow Ball! Yay! Uh, but also this this ba this gem badge doesn't give us any access to any t um, HMs, so well, but it doesn't matter. There's like eight HMs and like <laughs> 18 badges, so it doesn't matter. In addition to that, Pokemon up to level 40 will obey you. See you all soon. Yay! Uh, we got our badge. Let's save. Oh, Gira. Ugh. I've been wandering here for hours. Hours! Absolutely nothing has changed. It's like this place keeps looping or something. Ugh, that Meridia and Narcissa. And Mosley, too. I can't believe I let myself be defeated by those losers. I'll get them. One day, they'll pay for everything they've done. Ugh, I don't think that will help. Maybe we should just try going backwards? What the? Ah, is that it and uh, the professor? No way. Jenner and Zeta? What the? Gira, what are you doing here? I should say the same to you two. You two went MIA for a long time, you know. Not even Madam X was able to detect any of you. See, Jenner, I tell you moving forward instead of waiting around for nothing was better. No one's coming to help us in here, and that's just it. If that's the case, then aren't we royally screwed? There's nothing in here that will help us get out. Trust me, I've been wandering around with no results. What do we do then? 
this is an entirely different dimension. It's not like they have, they just have a door to our world. We're practically locked up with no escape. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't want to stay here with you two forever. I mean, no offense, but there's just no way. <laughs> None taken. The, feel the feeling is mutual. I'm not just going to sit here until something happens. Crunch. Man, these gourmet treats are great. <laughs> Why sell them to Pokemon when I can eat them all myself? Ha. Uh, hello. Oh, uh, Nim. <laughs> this is her dimension too, so. Alright. So, here's the tower. I mean, the statue. What does the statue have to do with Route 4? Alright, so Route 4 is what you need. Do you see the inscription here? Giratina, the protector of Golden Leaf region. The R in region is actually slightly pushed outwards. Push it back and... Wait, so we could have accidentally done this this entire time? Instead of going through all this drama? <laughs> uh, okay. As simple as that. Whoa, totally cool! Well, as, I'm, as much as I appreciate both of you, this is where we're going to part ways. As I said before, change isn't instant. It takes time for it to happen. I have to stay here and supervise things. Okay, thanks again. We shall meet again, Meridia, Alita. Oh, one last thing, you two. Thank you. We got a little distracted, but this turned out for the better, right? It's good if we help the world a little as we go, right? Uh, okay, so I'm gonna heal up. I was wondering if I should probably end the part here because, you know, just to stay, quote unquote, stay on topic of the of the video. But uh, mm, well, actually, let's do some things first, like this tree here and behind the waterfall. Whispery ruins. Four badges have been detected. Opening door momentarily. I mean, you could discover this before fighting Narcissa. But all around Whispery ruins, there are certain doors with numbers on them. And I guess there are numbers for like how many badges you currently have. Um, some doors require more badges, so you, you will have to come back here every now and then. So, open that chest. Ooh. Fallen and deserted, I relay the messages of our suffering to you. What is important to you? What was important to us? To Griselda. To Griselda, it was the royal family. Her family. She was born first of three children to the, king, to the queen and king of the East Kingdom. Her younger sister became queen of the Kingdom of Time. Her youngest sister became the queen of the, queen of the Kingdom of Space. So she has two younger sisters? Today they govern, uh, together they governed the universe and kept it in place. All was well between them and life was in total order. Things weren't always perfect though. Please take one of Griselda's most cherished, cherished items as thanks. And we get a Dawnstone. So yeah, that's, that's pretty useful. Um, especially considering that these sort of evolutionary items are they are typically rare, so having them right off the bat is, is, you know, pretty good. Though I don't think we'll get any Pokemon that requires a Dawn Stone so soon. So, yeah. Also, there's another side quest in this, um, in this town, although I'm not sure it's available right after you beat the gym. I, even if it is, I'm not gonna do it right now. I am actually going to wait until it becomes important to do so. So yeah, I think I will actually end the part here. It will probably it will probably turn out to be shorter than the typical video I put out, but yeah, for the sake of keeping everything, you know, contained and stuff like that, yeah, I'll just end it here. So next time we will go to the Garatina statue and um, go through Wispy Ruins so that we can get to Route 4 and then to Akua Town. So I'll see you guys next time.